Hi, I'm Anna. I'm a wife and mom, educator for creatives, nurse, and one half of the international photography and filmmaking team Anna and Mateo. And I empower creatives with the tools that they need to build the business and family life of their dreams. So this is my first YouTube video ever. Uh, I have been pulled to want to join this community, jump on this platform for a while now, but I'm just so nervous. Um, I don't spend a lot of time in front of the camera, and although I have years of experience mentoring other creatives and hosting workshops, um, I don't have as much or really any experience being on this side of a camera and doing things in this fashion. So bear with me as I grow and work out a few kinks here and there. But thank you for coming and thanks for watching. So today I'm going to teach you how to start your styling kit for under $30 or maybe just enhance your styling kit for under $30. So I'm going to teach you what items to add to your kit, where you can find them at a reasonable price, and how to utilize them. Okay, so the first item is a cheesecloth. This is sort of my secret weapon. I can't tell you how many of these I have, mostly in neutral colors, um, and I most frequently just use like a cream or an ivory color, but this cheesecloth is huge for, um, you can use it in so many shots. You can use it with stationery, you can use it um, as a backdrop for shoes, you can use it if there's to hide an unattractive um, ground. So if you don't have a styling board and all you have is some really ugly hotel tile to work with, you can use this as a beautiful textured ground um, background. It adds texture and um, dimension to photos, which is super important. I think um, if you can see the difference between someone who's excellent at detail shots and someone who's maybe more amateur, um, someone who's more amateur will have a very flat image. It doesn't have a lot of layers or dimension to it. So it's a great way to add dimension. It can add framing in the corner of an image. And um, it really just adds like a romantic and ethereal vibe. Number two are ring boxes. These became super popular a few years ago with the Mrs. Box, which is a great brand, super great quality, um, but also quite expensive. Um, but ring boxes in general are a great way to show off your client's most prized possession or one of the most prized possessions from their wedding date, their engagement ring. Um, this is a great sort of focal point for photographs and they add a great pop of color. It's a perfect way to tie in your client's wedding colors without um, being too obnoxious and they really add again dimension and layers to a detail shot. Third item are silk ribbons um, or chiffon ribbons, whatever texture ribbons you find that you love. Um, I love these but use them with caution. Um, these are just a couple packs, sample packs that I bought off Amazon but there are lots of re retailers that have all sorts of different textures and sh um, sort of shines, that sort of thing with ribbons. Um, I say be careful though because you never I see them overused a lot. I think it's important to never detract from your couple's story, never to, to detract from what details you're trying to show off. So if you're using a silk ribbon, use it very carefully, use it intentionally, don't just throw it on there for because you feel like you need to. And then you actually get one bonus. Um, this is something that a tool that I've been using a lot lately and I see a lot of people using more and more and more. In fact, it's sort of becoming standard for publications um, and that is these little acrylic, clear acrylic styling box that you can use to add dimension, again, adding dimension to your images. So frequently, you know, I have a beautiful piece of stationery and I want to show off one portion of it and I'll just sort of pop it on top of here and then have these other layers of more stationery envelopes um, jewelry, you know, whatever else might be in my flat lay. But these are super clutch right now and really not expensive. Like if you wanted to add them to your styling kit, it might bump it up to $35 or $45. But beyond that, I have so much more I want to share with you guys about styling, flat lays, wedding details. Um, it's something I love photographing and I have so many more tutorials lined up. So make sure you subscribe so that you can up with all of this. Um, and once you buy any of these items, leave a comment below and tell me what you're most excited about buying or using or what was your favorite and, um, and what you found most useful. 
thank you so, so much for watching. Um, again, I'm gonna link everything below and I'm going to also include some other vendors that once you're ready to invest for, I highly recommend working with them as well. So thanks so much for watching. Please check back and